Hey guys, it's makeup tutorial time again. Okay. Hey, hot miss fan. Oh my god. Yes! Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. We're going to be talking about Catrice Cosmetics. It's a long lasting prime and fine. I've been on the hunt for the Milani uh, Make It Last spray and I haven't been able to look for or find it. But when I went to my Ulta, I you know, Catrice is pretty new in Ulta. And I've been really wanting to try a couple things. And this was in my price point at the time. I think it was only like $4.99 or something. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch on something that I didn't know about. Um, but this was perfect for what I needed it for. I didn't have that much uh, prime or setting spray. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, it's a multi-talented fixing spray. Prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes complexion. I just love these. I love how you can um, set it and it helps the makeup in the long run. I love that it helps set it, or I should say prime, and then set um, and melds everything together. And I love that if you had to, you can carry it with you and freshen up and it just kind of makes everything new again. So I am definitely one of those prime set and refresh kind of girls. Um, and this one, I didn't have any issues with it. Let me just remind myself of the spray. Uh, the spray and the mist is perfect exactly what you want it is a mist it goes on evenly um, it melts the um, makeup together any of the um, powdery substances that you may have um, I don't know if this is the one let me just see uh, that's the smell is a little bit stronger than what I'm used to on a setting spray so be aware if you're very sensitive to the scent um, but I had no problems with that and I don't mind it it goes away pretty fast anyway it just kind of flutters in but it makes everything smell good it's a little bit florally floral um, scent so um, if you like that you'll be pleasantly um, surprised about that and happy uh, but yeah I've had no problems it says it's lightweight and quick drying spray that can be used as a primer as a refreshment and for setting makeup it improves makeup wear and gives a perfect finish um, this is all true dermatologically tested hold bottle about 30 centimeters away from face and space spray evenly obviously don't put it in your eyes or your mouth keep everything closed when you spray um, and yeah, I give it a little shush, but I don't think you even need to. Um, but because it's such a small bottle, this will, if you're a makeup wearer every day, this will go away pretty fast. Um, and if you're one of those that keep it in your bag or something and you use it a lot, then it would go fast. But the price point was only like seven or eight dollars. So it's not too crazy. Did I say seven or eight? I think it was five or six. Five or six, I think. No, you know what? It was seven bucks, seven, six, six something, seven dollars. Anyway, um, but it is a smaller bottle. It's only 50 milliliters, which is 1.69 fluid ounces. Um, and yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, will I go get it again? If I was in a pinch and Catrice was around, yeah, I would probably go get it again. Um, but I think I found a new favorite, so. Uh, I definitely would recommend this to a friend. Um, uh, everything about it is amazing. It works good. If you like purple, that's even better because it's like more of a purple tone. Um, but I have a, fav a, a, a favorite, so I probably won't buy this again. But in a pinch, I would. If I had to. If I couldn't find the, my favorite, I would definitely use this. Um, if you have any other detailed questions about this particular setting spray, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer it as thoroughly, thoroughly as I can. I can't talk today. And um, if uh, you like this video, please like it. If you're new, please subscribe and I will see you guys later when I have something on my mind and I want to give you my two cents. Bye.